All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect an XLR microphone to a Hero 8 Black. Now, I'm going to try and keep this video fairly short if I can, and the only reason for that is because I'm not entirely sure how many people are really interested in this type of thing. Um, if it were me personally, and I was just getting into, say, podcasting and indoor vlogging and stuff like that, and I wanted to use a Hero 8, this is exactly what I would want to know all about. But again, I'm not entirely sure how many people are really into it you know at this level you know wanting to use a really good microphone with a hero weight but nonetheless i'll do this and um, if people have got an interest in this let me know in the comment section below because what i will then do is another is another video like this one comparing the media mod to the original three and a half mil a pro mic adapter with like a couple of microphones in that instance as well you know xlr mics doing the same thing the only reason why i'm not going to do it right now again is because i'm not entirely sure you know if people are really dead into this but i would be you know if i was just gonna if i was just getting into podcasting and stuff and i wanted to use a gopro for doing indoor stuff like podcasty things because this is the type of position for a podcast i think and um, bearing in mind i don't do podcasting and i don't even really know the difference between a podcast or a vlog <laughs> but for anything where you want a gopro kind of sitting off like this on a little tripod maybe on your table or a proper tripod like i've got the other camera on and you want to put a decent mic in and talk to it this is exactly what you'd want to do anyways so what i'm using here is the saramonic smart rig although you could use any xlr preamplifier that you'd want to use but the first and most important thing here is to put the gopro into line level mode now regardless of whether or not it's the gopro media mod or whether it's the original mic adapter you have to put it into line level mode and then what you do you let the saramonic do all the gaining so the gopro doesn't do any gaining at all and on top of that the gopro then doesn't add all kinds of weird dynamics uh, processing such as agc and limiting which it inevitably will do if you are in its microphone modes i will be doing a video soon about the best way to set up your gopro as well for all types of like inputs to do with microphones and where and when you would use line mic and mic plus and powered and all that stuff in fact at some point there will be a link here as soon as i do that video where you can go and watch the results of that video as well because it is very very important that you set up up your gopro into the right modes for the right types of inputs and microphones so right now i have the xlr microphone and this could be any xlr microphone that requires phantom power so what it is now i have in fact when i say and requires phantom power this could also be a dynamic mic which doesn't use phantom power the workflow would be identical and you would still use a similar or the same type of preamplifier but in this instance i'm using phantom power because this is obviously a condenser microphone so basically i've got a condenser microphone it is connected via xlr and a cable goes all the way into the input of the saramonic here and then the saramonic has got a 48 volt phantom power supply on it as well so the saramonic then sends power back down the cable to power the condenser the microphone and then we are then doing the preamplification from the saramonic so hopefully as we should be able to see from the other camera here i'll show you now i'm going to start dropping the gain down and we can sh we should hear me starting to like get quieter see if i can do all this without messing too many things up so i'm getting quieter hopefully quieter quieter and eventually i'll get to nothing and switch then I'll start bringing it all back up again. And this time I'm going to have to be careful to get right back to where it was when it started. Oh, I think it's probably about there. Now, the other thing as well, if you're looking at this and you think this, this little contraption looks a bit mad. Yeah, fine, it does. All it is, again, this is just one of my little kind of like modifications and adaptations to basically a suspension cradle where I've put this bit of a rigging on the front here because the thing is, I like to get close to these microphones when I'm doing VO stuff. Not necessarily in front of camera like I am doing right now, but for VO type stuff, I like to get really close to these mics. So what I've done here, I've made up a mesh filter system, which is a bit of a botch and whatnot. But after a lot of experimenting, this is the one that I'm happy 
happy to use where it gives me the least amount of plosives. We probably still have been hearing plosives, but that's just because I've got a very kind of strong, powerful voice, as it were, which is just another way of saying I'm loud, which means I will produce a fair bit of wind as I'm talking. So obviously, in the process of doing that, I can, like, plosive microphones and what have you. So again, yeah, I just have to completely try and avoid that stuff when I'm doing these things. Hence this weirdo contraption. So if you were wondering what this is all about, it's just something for me. It probably wouldn't be necessary for someone else. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is dart off. You've seen what's going on here. And hopefully, you know, this will give people an idea. There'll be a link to the Saramonic in the descriptions below. I'm not too sure which one it'll be because this is a Mark 1. And obviously, I've modified this one. <clears throat> So the modification on this is just for like cold shoes and I've adapted the output and whatnot. But generally these these used to cost me about 30, 35 pounds, dollars, something like that. So I'll try and get the links if I can to the Mark 1s. If not, the Mark 2s are going to be at least as good and you'll be expecting to get the same type of sound out of your one as what I'm getting out of this. And I think you'll probably agree this is a fantastic audio sound and it's quite possibly one of the most impressive audios like demonstrations you probably will have heard with the gopro and i'm not saying that's because it's me and my voice is great what i mean is technically you will not get much better than this or you probably will never have heard much better than this on youtube coming off a gopro hero 8 black and it's just strictly down to the fact that we're using a good microphone we're using a decent preamplifier and we've got the gopro in line level mode okay so that'll do it for all this then anyway because i will run the risk of rabbiting on like a complete and not a mad person so if you've liked this video and you want to see any more of my gopro stuff if you go to www.gopro9.com that'll take you to a playlist of mine with all my gopro stuff and all my hero weight microphones mic mod all that stuff and eventually that will become uh, a web channel or a website with all of my gopro videos that i've ever done on and if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up and all the rest of it subscribe to the channel and all that kind of crazy thing anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now.